So today I received a couple of lovely bubbly aeroponic systems from a company called Aeropot in the post. And I wanted to do a little review, so let's see what comes in the box. Because there's two, I've got two of these plastic domes. Then there are two lids with eight holes in each, and that's where the net pots go. Then there's a bag of some goodies. I'll show you what's in there in a second. There's two of those, of course, because I, I bought two. And then there's a couple of pots. There's a black pot and a clear pot. I had to specially ask for the clear pot, and I'd normally recommend that you only go with black pots. But I actually wanted the clear pot so I could show you the roots growing and also show you how the aeroponic system actually works. So let's have a look at what is in these little bags. There's uh, eight of these little jiffy pellets for starting seeds. Then this is a atomizer or mist maker, which creates a lovely little uh, thick mist inside the buckets. Then there's this page of instructions, which, you know, it's not difficult, but these instructions were nice and clear. And then there's eight of these net pots. And that's what the growing medium or the seeds or the, uh, the cuttings go in. And then, of course, there's some growing medium, which is clay pebbles in this case. So putting it together is very simple. First, you stick the atomizer in the bottom of a bucket. And then you take the cord and you thread it through a pre-drilled hole on the side here. Then quite a clever little feature, which I really liked, was there's a bung on the cord or a rubber stopper, which can be used to plug that hole. And that stops the mist escaping. And I think that's a really nice little neat feature. Often the biggest differences in these systems are the small details like this. Next, we need to add some water. And we need to fill it up to about an inch above the top of the atomizer. So in this bucket, that's about uh, the level of the bottom of the um, label. But it is quite flexible. You can go a fair bit higher than that, I noticed. Um, I took it probably an inch higher or so, uh, although this is the optimum level. Then you plug in the cord to the uh, the power supply. That's easy. And you plug it into the wall. And then you turn it on. And look, you get this uh, lovely, bubbly little mist starting to appear. And it's quite amazing how quickly these things uh, create mist. But it's obviously best to have it in the center of the bucket. I also did it in a black bucket to show you how quickly they actually produce mist. I think you can see it a bit better in this bucket. And within, you know, a few seconds, you can't see the atomizer anymore and the cord starts to disappear. So they do a very good job of uh, filling the bucket with mist. And it's also fun. You can pour it out of the bucket. It's quite a heavy, dense mist. Exactly what you need. So within seconds, you can't see the cord anymore. And that's quite impressive, I think. I also measured the power consumption. It was around 18 uh, watts, which is about the same as a heated propagator, slightly less. So that's around the right mark. It's perfect, really. I think my heated propagator is about uh, 25 watts. So then I stick the lid on with the holes. That's quite simple. You're sticking a lid on a bucket, and then you stick the net pots in the holes in that lid. Then we need to fill the net pots with a growing medium. So they send some of these expanded clay pebbles with the kit. They're perfect. I actually moved these to the black bucket uh, at some point during this video because I wanted to try the jiffy pellets as well. But once you've got the, uh, the clay pebbles in, you pop the lid on, and that is a complete aeroponics kit. So here's the two of them. Uh, the black one isn't complete, but within a few minutes, the whole dome is actually full of mist. I was really quite pleased with that. I think uh, they're very, very effective. So you can see the mist escaping there. They've also got a vent at the top of the dome and that allows you to regulate how much air comes in and out. They recommend that you leave it open. So here I was taking a few cuttings from the garden. These are some goji berry cuttings. Uh, I'd really like to propagate some more of these, so I thought I'd give those a go. Then I also got um, a rosemary cutting. I trimmed off a few of the leaves and, and popped that in. I'll do a video, video later on on uh, how to do cuttings. This is lavender, so subscribe to the video and or to the channel more like, and uh, in future I'll show you how to take cuttings. And then I also took a couple of tomato cuttings. Uh, for these I found I had to pour the pebbles out, put the cutting in, and then pour the pebbles around the cutting. I also did the same for the lavender cutting. I'm not very confident about this because it's not a very good cutting at all, but I guess that will test the system out. And then the lid's on, and that is a complete system. So with the other pot, I decided to try the Jiffy pellets. Um, I've not used these before when growing anything, but apparently they're excellent for seed starting. So I'm just popping one in every pot. There are eight pots, and it comes with eight Jiffy pellets, so that's perfect. 
and then I've just been quite lazy. Some people like to soak them in other methods, but I thought I'd just pop them into the, uh, the aeroponics bucket, and that seemed to do the trick. When that was done, after a few minutes they've all expanded, I poked a hole in each of the jiffy pellets and popped a seed into each of the holes. There's three different types of peppers I'm putting in here. One is a mini bell pepper, one is a banana pepper, and one is a mulatto islano pepper. And they're three that I didn't have enough of when I started this growing season, so I thought I'd uh, try and start some more rapidly. I can't really pick any fault with these aeropots. They're a super simple way to get started into uh, hydroponics. And I think they're going to be really, really useful for taking cuttings and planting uh, new seeds. So, so far, 10 out of 10, I think they're a really good product. Now, I didn't want this video to be too long. So there will be a follow-up video showing the progress with the cuttings and the, uh, the new seedlings. So please subscribe to the channel. If you uh, enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I'll absolutely answer them. But thank you for watching. And as I say, please subscribe.